we're just one person out of seven billion people and how can we matter? We think about this universe as we're this tiny unimportant thing. We've been given this amazing gift of consciousness. I don't know if you guys have heard of the butterfly effect. I've been exploring this concept that we are all interconnected as the human race, as the human collective. You matter and every action you take has an impact on what future societies will experience. Imagine what the world would be like today if it wasn't for Martin Luther King Jr. Because he expressed himself and sought out his life purpose, a butterfly effect was created that allowed us to live in the society that we live in today. It might come from the way that you express yourself as a human being. It might come from a piece of artwork that you create. Each one of these ways of being, these things that we put out into the world through the creative process of mixing together all the other things that existed at the point that we were born, allow us to expand the palette of being for all of society after us. Even scripture talks about how we're all interconnected. So are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. I don't care what you believe in, whether it's God, the universe, or science, but we are all one and we are all part of the human collective. When you heal, when you pursue your dreams and passions, it affects all of us as a human collective, as one. Listen to this about our connection to the universe. About 4.6 billion years ago, a planetary system formed in a relatively sparsely populated region of a galaxy that we call the Milky Way. On one of the planets in that planetary system, the conditions were right for elements and molecules to form water and amino acids. Those amino acids reacted to form proteins, and those proteins became DNA. Your body is made of cells that contain those molecules. Approximately half of your body is made of hydrogen atoms. All those hydrogen atoms were formed in the infant universe. The rest of the atoms in your body were formed in the course of stars that died billions of years ago. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. And all of the members of the body, though many, are one body. And as always, make sure you're keeping up with the Glens.